This is a 1970 Oldsmobile Tornado. Picked this up for $700. Or sorry, 800 It's, uh, I'm wearing a mask right now. It's, it's pretty, uh, disgusting inside. And, uh, yeah, I was just have to show you. But, from the outside here, looks alright. Besides it leaning to the one side, which you'll see later on why. Here's the other side of the car. Cores and all that don't look too, too bad. So you start getting real close up on them. And you see that uh, they got some rot. So I picked up this car for only one or two parts, pretty much. First off, we'll start from the back and work our way front, to the front I should say. It's got the trailer hitch, all the bolts, to finally figure out how to mount mine and uh, I was missing this bracket right there for mine. If you notice by the rims or the wheels, whatever you want to call them, this car has disc brakes, rear option, all will be for sale for this car, along with all the interior items, and more than likely the engine. Which is the other reason why I picked this car up. It's a 1970 Olds 455 high compression engine. I guess they were all high compression back then. Uh, it's free. It's not, uh, what would you call it, seized up. But it does need, uh, I think it needs a starter. Either that or the wiring for it. All the wiring for this has been messed with at some point. So I got to redo all, do all that just like I did with the teal car. And uh, hopefully I can get this thing to run. Either that is either the wiring and the, or the starter. And I think it's a combination of the both. Of both. Got to find a coil wire and one plug wire. Actually two of them. One's completely just missing. And the other one is damaged. They set a house chain, like for a fan, for the throttle, for some reason. But the actual cable, throttle cable is still hooked up. It's weird. This car has cruise control on it. Uh, I guess that was like something for a fully loaded Toro they had. Because this car also has... The side marker lights as well turn signal lights yeah this was the main reason this engine put out uh, 375 horsepower I can't remember how much torque made like around 400 or something like that but it's all original it's all there still has the AC Delco spark plugs in it so it really hasn't been messed with so I'll either use this for my cutlass or I'll sell it I'm thinking like 800 bucks for it as long as it runs I gotta check but yeah there's that also has the original radiator radiator shroud 
Uh, it's got the bigger fan because it's an AC car. So that's nice to have if you're for the hot rodders looking for a bigger fan to put on your olds and your 455. That's the one to put on. So let's go to the interior, which is why I have the mask on in the first place and why this car is unsavable. Start with the front here. So here's the dash. I believe it's a single des uh, single year design dash of some sort. Has a edge market rear defrost. Has cruise control, like I said. I think there's a switch for it there. This car has 77,000 miles. It was last registered in 1996. It has the AM FM uh, radio. I tried to test it out. It doesn't seem to work, but it is a good core. It's got the clock. And it's got like the standard steering wheel. I kind of like these design. I'm gonna, probably going to end up using the steering column. Uh, for my uh, cutlass to tilt column so and my cutlass is a column car so this is perfect as long as they will work go back here so here's why this car isn't savable that's the ground right there uh, when I picked up from the guy he said that there was a groundhog or whistle pig whichever one you want to call it living in this car uh, so everything's been pretty thoroughly destroyed. Back seat doesn't look too bad. At least the top half. Bottom half is eh. But the floor's gone. There's just a whole bunch of dirt and everything. This thing was just up to its britches and sand pretty much. All, all the way up to the top of the seat here. And you can see how low this car is. It's just barely off the ground, which probably doesn't help with the flat tire. But I'll show the trunk off here. So there's this. That is the rear leaf spring coming through the floor. So it moves there so this thing's not safe to drive there's more holes in the floor there got a spare or at least what was a spare at some point all the hubcaps are here for the car actually all all five even the one for the spares here had extra hoses an extra light I believe one of these were busted out. Yeah, it was this side. It got hit in the rear quarter. Uh, gasoline smells like kerosene. It's all been varnished. So yeah, and uh, water gets inside the trunk real bad. You see it's all wet after we just had a rain. But, so, this thing is a parts car through and through. So, if you want anything from this car, all of it will be for sale. Uh, I'll only ship small items. Anything big or large I cannot ship due to COVID. The shipping is just too expensive right now, especially overseas. So, yeah, let me know what you want. Uh, interior components, exterior, stuff like that stuff in the engine bay besides the engine itself unless uh well at least i want to wait on it until i can get this thing running see if it's seized or, or it's not seized but see if it you know runs right overnight not but yeah so there's a little update on this let's close the hood here and we'll show it off one more time <laughs> 